Greetings and welcome. Thank you for stopping by here on TikTok Live. If you're logging in live at the one, the only, the raw, the rare, the real, the try, the true, bloom from with the love, I go by blooming. Happy Saturday wherever you are on the globe. If you're logging in live this sweet July 20, I want to say it's the 23rd. Uh, July 23rd, 2022, okay? If you're logging in later on YouTube, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, anything y'all need to know about me should be either listed in the bio section here on TikTok or in the description box on YouTube, okay? To the returning viewers and the returning followers and subscribers that are of love and light and high vibe positivity, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, thank you for joining and hopefully you may be able to get something out of this reading. We are on a day nine of Project Proof. Day nine, Project Proof. Proof, okay, if you want to know more about all of that, I invite you to check out the videos on my YouTube, which is listing every day. And the first day, it gives a description about what Project Proof is all about. So we are protecting, we are recreating, we are organizing our futures on our terms in love and light, high vibes and positivity. That's what this is all about. Day nine is the message of picturesque. Picturesque is the message. Now, since it's a general collective, meaning all zodiac signs, all elements, masculine, feminine energy, it's going to be all over the board. Picturesque, for some of you, is going to be referencing you or someone that you're thinking of. They are picturesque, meaning like a picture, very, very beautiful very very pretty very very handsome okay so this may be to do with you physically or it could be something more you know symbolic or energetic you know spiritual personality picturesque so we're just going to see what comes out i already have the decks selected here and i invite you all to set your intention and please note it may not be your reading. Also note, at the end of the day, I always encourage my viewers, followers, and subscribers, whether you're watching me or any other reader, please learn how to follow your higher wisdom and guidance and take only what is truly fitting. Don't try to make something fit and understand that you are the captain. This is your life. This is your world. And you have the right to create it on your terms. Not everything that I say is going to be fitting for you and that's okay just take the parts that does okay all right let's rock day nine project proof someone is picturesque maybe there was an attack on you maybe people tried to make you go some kind of way okay because you are picturesque okay which unfortunately is common on earth in the 3d school here Okay, so let's see. But spirit guides, ancestors, whatever you equate your higher resonance to is trying to remind someone, okay? They're bringing all that energy back. Like, listen, you are picturesque as you are, okay? Because guess what? It's in the eye of the beholder. It's on your terms here, okay? I always invite people to sit with the thought if everybody looked exactly the same. How boring would life be? There is a reason for diversity, okay? There's a reason for it, and it serves. Okay, not it doesn't make one better than the other. It's all beautiful. It serves. It's all about our perception, right? All right. Day nine, project proof. Someone is picturesque. Picturesque. Where's oh, my grandma's in the other room? Well, she's in this room, but her picture. <laughs> but I do have Egyptian masters present, so let's see here. Lighting. 
That's right. Picturesque. Love and light, circle of love, light protection, reflection, violet fire, farming spell, bumpers and shields. Amplify divine benevolent energy. May I be a clear channel, rooted by my root and feet, by my intention and breath. Returning to center all fuckery on a time release loop, binding their distortion to them. Their reality. Amplify this, shutting off empathing as it pertains to fuckery. Love and light, love and light, love and light. Day nine, light team, picturesque. What's the message? The heart. For those that this is truly for, picturesque. They are picturesque. App. The cosmos ascend. I connect to the oneness and expand my awareness. Ooh. So some of you all um, are picturesque because you're an ascended soul. Ethereal energy is kind of coming through. Okay, so it's like that's what's picturesque. And maybe some people didn't understand that that was the mystery behind you being picturesque. Because you may appear plain, but for whatever reason, it's not so plain. Okay, someone is picturesque. Okay, ooh. The cosmos, enchantress, witch, uh, witchcraft. I attract a steady flow of abundance. Yes, some of you guys are magical. That ethereal energy here. Okay? Or someone that you're thinking about is has this picturesque energy. Interesting. Okay. Let's put this one here. Okay, these two are the last. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Day nine. Project approved. Picturesque. Guides could be trying to remind somebody, like, as you are where you're at, okay? They're trying to point you to your beautiful energy. Instead of the fuckery and the illusion of the 3D, we often all get caught up in, right? It's like you are picturesque. People wouldn't be trying to think about it like this. People wouldn't try so hard to make you feel differently. Have you ever thought about it like that? People wouldn't, you know go out of their way to whether directly or indirectly try to make you feel differently. The reason is, is because there's obviously something picturesque about you. Okay. Something picturesque. Picturesque. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yesterday, boy, I tell you what. Thor and them. <laughs> People was pissed. Ancestors pissed. Low vibratories were pissed. Because they're... <laughs> it's fun to read, though. It's funny. Okay. All right. Let's keep on. The cosmos ascends. Someone is picturesque. The cosmos ascends. Somebody has an expanded awareness. Picturesque. The cosmos ascend. Picturesque. Healer. Yeah. Somebody's a healer. This Newton might energy. Somebody is a healer. Okay. Maybe that is what's picturesque about some of you here, right? Or somebody. Hold up. Some of the cards flipped, guys. So just hold on. They have me doing uprights only, but they're all over the place. So I'm just going to let it rock. Okay. Yeah. Success. Emotional healing. So some of you, that's attractive. Okay. That's picturesque that you know how to expand your awareness about healing, that you heal yourself or somebody knows how to heal themselves. Um, someone has a very healing energy or a healing quality, even if it's unorthodox. There's something ethereal. Okay, it's ethereal. So what I mean by that is just maybe it's regal. It's, it's, it's otherworldly and it's beyond just this jacket. Okay, not to say your jacket isn't picturesque, right? This, but it's, it's something a little bit deeper than that here. And somebody is yeah, successful. Somebody has successfully learned an art of expanding healing energy here. Dealing with their own emotions, okay? 
beautiful. And so folks could be finding that attractive about somebody or the spirit guides are just simply trying to remind someone to see themselves this way. Okay, that you are picturesque, dear. I don't care if you are non-surgically altered, okay, in 2022. You are <laughs> picturesque, okay? All right. All right, let's rock, let's rock, let's rock. Let's keep it pushing, keep it pushing her. They want uprights for simplicity here today. So no matter how they're coming out, we're taking uprights and they're going to give me the interpretation accordingly. Gauging the energy, okay? So let's see here. Picturesque, day nine of Project Proof. Somebody's picturesque. Somebody. I'll be good. <laughs> okay. Uprights, uprights, independence. Ooh, so somebody may find your independence, art maez, goddess. Ooh, okay. Or how do you say it? Artemis, I'm sorry. Artemis, goddess. Okay. Independence, yes. Someone may find that independence very picturesque, ethereal, very attractive, very regal. Okay. Or your guys are saying, listen. You are picturesque. You learn how to heal. You learn how to ascend and expand your awareness. And it could have taken everything in you to do it. You, you know, gained your independence maybe from some outdated belief systems. With this, I connect to the oneness. I ascend the cosmos. So you could have had to break free from some really deep-rooted traditions that were toxic. And that we're no longer serving your journey here. Okay. And that's considered to be picturesque in the sight of ascended masters, ancestors, your higher self. And maybe there's somebody watching you. And we'll see when we get into the tarot. Okay. We'll see. Wow. Look at courage. Yes. Yes. You guys were courageous. Look at this. She's sitting on the moon, so, and then there's this water. So no matter how afraid you were of the unknown, how challenging something was, the secrets, you know, whatever the moon, the subconscious, you faced your subconscious, you faced your fears, you had the courage, no matter what, somebody did to heal, okay? Picturesque. Someone could be wanting to come in to heal something, because they see somebody as picturesque, okay? Yeah, gratitude. Yeah, somebody is grateful or you're a grateful person. Somebody's blooming. <laughs> Somebody's blooming. <laughs> blooming, okay? And grateful for blooming or, <laughs> or, you know, just grateful for this growth. This is a growth energy blooming, blooming. Okay. And it's beautiful. It's picturesque. It's not perfect, but it's picturesque. It's ethereal. Maybe that's why today I was guided to have the Egyptian energy up here. Okay. But yes, somebody's grateful and could want to come in and heal something with an ethereal regal type of an energy here. Okay. Now let's get into the I'm gonna move these this way so I can have space. I'm gonna have that, that here, that there, that there, so I can see it. And then we're gonna do this like this. Oh my bitch. Okay. We know <laughs> y'all probably be like this girl. <laughs> Funny as hell. Okay. Hee <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's get the tarot here. Day nine. Project proof. The message. Picturesque. Picturesque. Someone's picturesque. Something's picturesque. Okay. Someone is a healer or have a healing energy. Newton might have been coming out a lot. 
I invite you to do your research if you're into crystals to look into new, it's called Numamite or Numamite. N-U-U-M-M-I-T-E. Okay. Healer. It's a, it's a healing energy, but maybe healers use it. Okay. I have a piece of uh, Numamite. I want some more. Very potent energy. Well, I've got one. All right. Do I have an Omni team or no? Let's see. If I have an Omni, I'll, I sh I show you. No, that that's Shungite on me. Where's my? Yeah, that's Shungite. I think. It may be in my boobies and my 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 bra. <laughs> I'm not gonna dig it. I'm not gonna dig it out right now. <laughs> I have shungite in my pocket. Okay. All right. Picturesque. Who's picturesque? Somebody that's expanding their consciousness, ascending, healing, awakening, courage. They're taking uprights. They have me in the upright energy so I can be simpler. Yeah, page of cups, bottom of the deck. Somebody, somebody may want to communicate something to heal something to someone that's picturesque. They find beautiful, ethereal, okay? Yeah, somebody wants to come in with good news. Page of Wands. Maybe this is happening. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. About lying or maybe blocking some people that were jealous of something here, which is, you know, it comes with the territory. If someone is in this picturesque energy, then of course you're going to have the polar sides to where people get in this energy. Okay, the five of swords, the gossip, okay? Wanting to win at all costs, karmic wheel in the reverse, karmic energies, people who wanna come and try to fuck up the fortune of someone that is picturesque by lying, page of swords in the reverse, or you know, some type of hidden dishonor or withholding of truth or blocking communication with this seven of wands. People who were trying to block something here, block somebody's good news, okay? So there's something that is coming. Let's see what happens, because something's coming. Ascend, ascend, healer, courage, four of swords. Ascend, healer, courage, nine of cups, flipped in the reverse. We're taking them in the upright though. There was someone that was um, sad or something. There was a lack of wish fulfillment. Maybe you could have experienced or someone could have experienced because they are, were a person that decided to expand. Okay. So people became disturbed, four of swords reversed, at someone's ability to heal and expand and have courage to go on. People got bothered by it. They could have attacked the person and claimed that they were not well, okay? Uh, claimed that they were just sad because they didn't get their wishes or some shit. Past energy, okay? They could have attacked this picturesque energy. People could have, all right? And it was because essentially what they were projecting was actually of themselves. They were unwell, okay? They were sad individuals, okay? Trying to block someone else's happiness and wish fulfillment. This is why people do it. Why would you do it otherwise? When you are a happy, whole, and fulfilled individual, you don't spend your time, money, resources, and investments in trying to cause 
um, disharmony for someone else unless you yourself are unhappy. When you're satisfied, not perfect, but when you're comfortable and whole within yourself, you don't have that time desire even. You're too busy trying to create. So you don't have time to go about trying to bring disruptions to other people's wishes and shit. Only low vibratory people operate that way and people that are unwell. Their chakras offline, their chakras out of alignment, whatever you want to call it, conscious, not expanded. Okay? Some people had an issue with someone that's picturesque that has an expanded awareness here. So they kept trying to block, 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 which essentially goes back to them. But we'll get to that on another video. Okay? Now, somebody could be looking at this picturesque person as their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Okay? Wish fulfillment. Wanting to bring some, you know, maybe something chaotic to end. Maybe wanting to heal something. Here, a brand new beginning, Ace of Wands. You could be getting a brand new beginning if you're a the picturesque person. Ace of Wands, right? Maybe that's what's feisty and, and you know, attractive. Maybe you're excited. Maybe you have, you know, these new opportunities in life or some shit. Who knows, right? Let's see. What else? Boom, death. <laughs> Goodness gracious God. It wants to be in the reverse. People wanted to end. See, I'm sorry. This four of swords, nine of cups, death. There was people trying to put an end to a picturesque person. Someone that has an expanded consciousness and awareness. Okay? And people that were trying to put an end to someone's, you know, um, Fiery brand new beginning offered from the universe. Okay. Ace of Wands. Yeah. And it could have been somebody's past lover here because I have the lovers here. Okay. Six of Swords. Somebody that was confused and mentally unbalanced here. People that were a part of a betrayal. Three of Swords towards this picturesque person. Okay. And Empress. Here she goes. Something was unjust. There was a missed opportunity with the Divine Feminine. People were dealing with some copycat karmic feminine energies here. Justice reverse. It's a classic story. It's always the same. No matter what day and no matter how I shuffle the cards. Here's the emperor. Yeah. No matter what deck I use, I find it fascinating. Um, yeah. So now there's a transformation. Somebody basically rebuilt themselves here. They expanded their consciousness. They had the courage to do it. They're picturesque. They had the courage to do it. They had the courage to face their fear. Go down unknown territory. Get some rest. Put things to rest. Anything that wasn't going to be wish fulfillment for them. Okay. Anything and anyone that was trying to end them. Anything and anybody that was trying to block their healing or transformation. Someone deaded it so that they can get a fiery, passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands from the universe. Starting all over and being excited about it, right? Someone could be wanting to come in, okay, to this picturesque individual. Someone's picturesque. Ethereal. Regal energy. Ooh, child. It could be a king, a king of wands, he wants. All right. Well, he may be wanting to come in and pick up the, the picturesque lady like in this picture. Right. Like minds. Right. Or could have like a lot of fire and passion. He could have juggled. Okay. Something could have came to an end because there was juggling. Two of pentacles here. Confusion. The sun. And then I have the Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Okay. So someone could have attacked the picturesque, ethereal individual. If they had these those karmic energies I just mentioned here with this Five of Swords, petty energy. Next to the Wheel of Fortune reversed. That 
was causing defensiveness and blockages here. Yeah, blocking communication, page of swords, causing blockages there. Yeah. Also, this could be a king that somebody has blocked. The ethereal person could have blocked because she discovers the truth with the sun. Illumination. Okay. Yeah, it's just deaded things with this healing energy. Had the courage to dead things with people that was confused about them, people that was juggling them, people that was secretly trying to end them or cause some type of a mental unrest. So deading it. Yeah, illumination. We have a moon here and a sun here. There was been there was illumination to something. Truths revealed. Okay. Wow. Well. Hmm. Let's see. King of Wands is at the bottom there. Fire. And there's the fool. Yeah. I got the fool. And I got the um the knight of cups. So more I got scorpionic energy. So I have water, air, fire. So far, water, air, and fire on the board. Okay. So now, okay, if you're picturesque, you're getting a brand new beginning. You're on a new journey here. Okay. There's somebody who loves you that's coming in. That's got love and passion for you. King of Cups, Water Energy, Ace of Wands. Okay. So we've had the King of Wands, King of Cups. Okay. Somebody may want to come in and apologize for trying to cause death or trying to cause an ending or not transforming something here. Or not putting selfishness to an end because Nine of Cups, low vibration is overindulgence. It's selfishness, it's addiction, drugs and alcohol sometimes, um, or people that are just greedy and selfish. And so someone could be coming in wanting to, you know, make wishes come true and apologize for not putting an end to being selfish and crazy with the four swords, <laughs> the mental card there, okay, trying to cause stress. For somebody. So either way, these ethereal, picturesque people are getting a new beginning. People could be coming in to date them. This is like a date card as well. Even when it's not apology, it could be people that are coming in to court and date and get to know someone like friends and, you know. And then it goes wherever it goes, right? So, ooh. Ooh, two of cups. Oh, bitch. Oh, oh. Why did it fly on top of that? Oh, Lord. Here he comes. And there's the king of swords. I was waiting for it. We have had every king. <laughs> oh, shit. Except for pinnacles. And if that come out, I'm done. Done. So, yeah. There's somebody coming in here. People had an issue and was attacking an ethereal, picturesque individual um, and causing issues here. So that person could have ended it, moved on, healed their healer. They had the courage, boom, bitch, bye. Sorry, fucks. And kept it pushing, boom. Now, <laughs> now, King of Swords, he's Swords, wants to pop. Or somebody wants to apologize for maybe trying to put an end to a to a cup situation. People are always jealous of those. So do your do your research. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. They're always they're always okay. No matter what, it just it's weird. Um, uh, there could be a king of swords trying to hold on to this ethereal person, this picturesque person. But they also had someone of their past that had too much power and control over them. Okay. That was causing issues. Okay. That selfish energy. Holding back something that belongs to someone else. Kind of energy here. Yeah. 
Yeah. And there's the pettiness. Okay. Five of Wands, people who wanted to compete where they didn't compare, people that were codependent, Nine of Pentacles, but secretly trying to one up somebody. Nine of Pentacles reversed, you know. Yeah. So the ethereal person could have just walked away. Eight of Cups, like, nah, dropping burdens, Ten of Wands. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got no time on earth left for that. <laughs> so someone with this healer energy on the board here went on and had the courage to heal. Yeah, facing their fears. Okay, somebody could be coming in. You are picturesque. Somebody on day nine, you're picturesque, honey. Ethereal, regal, two of cups energy is here, spiritual unions, higher vibrational unions and friendships and connections here. Not just based in the lust of the 3D, beyond it. Not that it doesn't have the element of the physicality, because some of you guys are actually very beautiful or very handsome, but it's deeper. Yeah, it's deeper than that, though. Um... Yep. Eight of Swords. Ooh, somebody wants to apologize. There's the Page of Cups. Here's the Swords. Got Cups and Swords and a little bit of fire. With the Fool being right here, it could have been a fire sign that was interfering. Page of Cups. Yeah. Somebody is stuck on somebody now because they're ethereal. There's something ethereal, something regal, something picturesque, something healing with this uh, Newtonite energy. Yeah. Got two majors out of tarot here. Okay. Anything else, Tim, before I get the final messages? Judgment, bam. Oof. Judgment, somebody, they fall on top of the healer. Good graciousness. Somebody has learned lessons or maybe the ethereal, picturesque person closed out lessons with this world energy here, uh, which is about completion. It's the end of tarot. It's you've gone from zero to the end. You have transformed ideally and have learned the lessons you were, your soul was here to learn in a situation. Okay. Uh, the ethereal, picturesque individual could have been done that and called judgment. Healer, so that they could go on to heal and then to deal with people who were trying to stop it. They could have called judgment in the ethers. Okay. And said, in this, to whoever the people were that was behind some, some lower vibratory shit towards this person that has an expanded awareness. Okay. Now, some people could be wanting to come in and ask for another chance with judgment. But something, somebody learned a lesson about spell work and manipulation here. I have the magician in the reversed and the king of cups. Okay. Somebody that was possibly emotionally withholding, okay, or was trying to manipulate emotion. They had to learn a lesson about that. Like, you won't manifest. Somebody had to figure out that you're not going to manifest an ethereal. You're not going to manifest a regal, ethereal, picturesque individual in that same energy. It's not going to happen. <laughs> wow. Judgment. We got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 19. Why is judgment here on day nine for trying to keep somebody stuck? Maybe people are under judgment for trying to interfere in a twin flame or a higher level soulmate connection. They're under judgment for trying to put an end to people, this death energy, uh, for maybe trying to get somebody stuck or set somebody up. Somebody may be under karma. Let's see here. Why is judgment? 
Day nine, picturesque. Why is judgment here on day nine, my team? Yeah, because somebody did shit without thinking. Uh, Knight of Swords is somebody who moves quickly and swiftly, really fast, but quick to do and say some shit that they that bite them in the ass. Later bites them in the ass. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah, under judgment for trying to have somebody go through the same shit over and over. Trying to do the same thing over and over to an ethereal. To an ethereal. To a regal, ethereal, picturesque individual. That's why judgment is here. Oof, goodness gracious. So whoever... Yeah, my goodness. That's why, it's, that's why the world is here. That's why. Whoever was... And the energy of repeatedly trying to kill this person, put an end to this person, put an end to their wishes, fulfillment, or, you know, whatever that was about. Hey, gosh, they're under judgment. Not a, what else, team? Yeah, but there it is. Boom, the, boom, bitch, boom. Oh, I was waiting for it. The competition. Here it is. People who were secretly... Trying to one-up and compete with this ethereal, regal energy. And it could be five plus people that was involved with doing the same shit over and over again. Pinheads, pumpkin heads. Five of Wands, trying to cause chaos and conflict. Jealous, trying to one-up, secretly doing shit over and over to someone who is ascended. I expand my awareness, an ethereal, a regal, a picturesque person. They are under judgment. This could have happened in the ethers first. Yep. Possibly, yeah, a lion-ass queen. Here it is, a disturbed mental patient. That should be, should be committed. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, reversed, money-hungry whore. Okay. Ace of Swords, lying whore. Patience reverse, disturbed, lying whore. <laughs> People who was causing disruption, trying to constantly cause disruption to this ethereal person, to their ability to take care of themselves, lying on them, trying to keep them unbalanced, trying to stress them out, trying to keep them, you know, trapped and connected to a toxic shit, the devil. These people are obsessed with this energy. Sad. They're obsessed with trying to hurt and bring down an ethereal. This is why they're under judgment. It's like, oh, you can do this secretly all you want. Because now we've been sent to secretly fuck with you. <laughs> oh, you can do this all you want. Because you was touching an ethereal. That was dumb. That was so dumb for somebody. And spirit guides, ancestors is reminding whoever's in this picturesque ethereal energy that you're ethereal and picturesque. Justice is being served. Okay. These people's weirdy energy is a reflection of them being triggered by the fact that you have an expanded awareness. Simple as that. And then they just try to go and full throttle on some fuck shit. Let's put an end to them. And their social medias and stuff because, yeah, over and over and over. So they got more judgment and judgment and judgment and judgment and judgment and karma and karma and bad karma and bad karma. If they want to do it nine times, nine times plus, they gonna have to fucking deal with. <laughs> it was stupid. Okay, then nine times plus, bitch, we fence in the fuck with you. Judgment. <laughs> Should have stopped stealing. Should have stopped trying to end shit. Should have stopped interfering. Misguiding people's judgment because you were secretly jealous. That's what somebody did. Somebody that was stuck on somebody that didn't want they tired ass started giving giving advice, misguided judgment because they were secretly jealous. They were the competition. They could have been saying, no, 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 I don't care. 
I've gone on. No, you haven't. You never did. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. <laughs> I'm dating other people. Sure, that's a facade as well. That's just to convince folks. But no, you haven't. That's why you're always in that ear. Lying. You're lying. You're lying. High priestess. Oh, here's the ethereal energy. Now, people, yeah, had secret commitments, but the ethereal energy knows about it. The ethereal person is this. See, people stupid. Stupid. She is that. <laughs> How do you have secrets from a high priestess? You really can't. They'll learn, they're going to feel your energy. So, these people were secretly trying to come against the wish fulfillment of this ethereal picturesque person doing the same shit secretly over and over again with individuals that were jealous. The people who wanted to be them, chances are, I'm just keeping on the one hand. I'm keeping on the one hand. My fathers that wanted to be them. Some of them went so far to try to cloak in her energy or his energy. Okay, that Ursula Sea Witch shit. Because that's how thirsty these motherfuckers is. So, yeah. The high priestess knew about what people were secretly doing. That's why judgment is here. That's why death is here. Okay. What's next for these ethereal types, team? The ethereal, picturesque, regal energy, healer energies, the ones that were courageous, from the tarot perspective here, look, at here's the moon. This is what people are doing secretly. I told y'all the moon. Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all know these people's hiring high priestesses and doing moon magic and shit. This person, no, you can't hide nothing from a high priestess. People are idiots. Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at some shit right here. Somebody cut somebody the fuck out too. This ethereal person could have. This loving woman, right? Queen of Cups could have cussed out because it's got Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords reverse, Knight of Wands <laughs> reverse, Seven of Swords. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah, this ethereal person could have been like, I'm going to have the courage to face my fears. Yeah, I'll see you, sorry, fucks. I see all of you. <laughs> I'm going to cut you out energetically all up in either. So we'll be across the sky, bitch. What's next? <laughs> Ooh, child. Honey, child. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, somebody. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. In the highest vibration, this is steady development. What's next for the high vibers here? The ethereals. The healers, okay? Those that embrace their healing. Those that have the courage. Oh, some kind of communication. Page of Pentacles. Some kind of something coming in that's going to make them happy. Oh, could be either a King of Pentacles coming or shoot, somebody just supposed to get their dividends on tilt. Shit, bitch, boom. If it ain't, boom. If it ain't an actual King of Pentacles. Ooh, now we have all the Kings. Oh, shit. Now I've just seen all the kings. Oh, motherfucker. Anyway, so, shit. But anyway, what's coming is something that's going to make somebody happy for the ethereals, okay? I got page of pentacles, the five of cups, something in the reverse. Something's going to make somebody happy. Something that's going to either some kind of an offer. Let's see. For the ethereals, 
It's not much. It's very small if it's an offer, but let's see. King of Cups. There is a cup. Okay, there is his cup. King of Cups. Love. So I just saw King of Pentacles. Damn, King of Cups. I saw all the kings. What the hell? Okay, some of you ethereals, okay, if you're feminine, then you may have several suitors with this knight energy here coming in, wanting to get to know you, okay, with this knight and two of cups. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Four of Wands. Somebody wants to come in and offer a, a solid commitment. Four of Wands. You may get some kind of communication from someone that they, yeah, they want to offer a Four of Wands. I, okay, y'all might be saying, uh, Five of Pentacles. Either you're going to reject it or they think you are. Five of Pentacles. Maybe they don't want to be left out. Maybe they, you know, somebody coming in is like, uh-uh. <laughs> oh, shit, bitch. You may, somebody, but, you know, the ethereals may feel like these people just trying to slow me down. They're just trying to stop me from my victory and success. Let's see. What else is coming to the for the ethereals? Okay. So, but no, okay. I have the hanged man reversed. Mm. Now, see, either, I don't know. Either somebody wants to free themselves from a hidden commitment. Or somebody that's stuck in a commitment they don't want to be in that they're trying to leave out somebody that's coming could be trying to leave out release themselves from some kind of a secret commitment or a family or they wants out <laughs> somebody wants out <laughs> yeah the moon the seven of swords What's coming in for the ethereals? We do have a four of wands, energy, hanged men, five of pentacles, page of swords. Somebody's stalking, somebody's watching. Somebody could want to communicate about. Somebody that's codependent. Or somebody's getting independent. Somebody's watching somebody become independent and want to offer a commitment. They, yeah. Somebody's obsessed though. I do have an obsession energy. Keeps showing up. A lover, Gemini, yeah. Somebody wants to come in and choose. Somebody stuck on somebody wants to get free from something they were stuck in. Somebody has been investigating, watching, studying secretly. Watching somebody, watching this ethereal. So an offer is coming in. Somebody, goodness gracious, we got the two of cups. And the lovers. So we have both lovers cards here. We have the like spiritual union, friendship -y. Then we have a choice, which is the lovers. is a choice in love, a choice. Could also represent siblings sometimes. Partners, siblings. Ooh, so some look at I asked about what was coming. For the ethereals, these picturesque, so there's something to do with an offer. Okay. 
something, some communication. An investigator could even be contacting the ethereal types here, page of swords. Maybe there was an investigator involved. Or somebody that was just, you know, stalking and, and looking into something, watching something to do with these situations here. Okay. The lovers now lighting with this here. The lovers specifically. The lovers. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> The lovers is the devil. Did y'all know that? Like, it's the, it's, I ain't gonna get into it. Because now I'm getting into teaching about tarot. But, um. Ooh, somebody is releasing toxicity. And just fixated on the, maybe this ethereal person. This picture X person wanting to choose. Yeah, because there was injustice wanting to bring justice. Okay, there was injustices done to this ethereal picturesque person. Okay, day nine, project proof. Someone is picturesque, ethereal, regal energy here. Okay, so let's get the final messages. It looks like there's going to be something coming in, communication possibly. Could be a small offer, apologies maybe. People may want to come in and take it slow. It looks like there may be even multiples for some of you. We did see every king and almost every night, okay? I saw one, two, I only saw two of the queens. I saw the emperor and empress. So, yeah, some of you guys, yeah. I even saw the Hierophant. Hierophant High Priestess. Ooh, that's spiritual union shit too, bitch. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the spirit guides and ancestors are like, look it, you're somebody, if you're the ethereal energy, the picturesque energy, you have an expanded awareness. This led the energy of the reading and you heal. It bothered a whole lot of folks. Okay? Whole lot of folks. Whole lot of energy that came in, the five of swords, the five of wands. So that's basically low vibrational people, petty, close-minded, jealous, gossipy, you name it. Okay. The kick started their attempt to hurt you and ruin you. They're paying for it, severe judgment. Other people may be wanting to come back to apologize. Okay. All right. So now let's get the final messages. Should I move this? I think I want to move this and then keep just the overall energy. And we are done. I wanted to shake up the energy in the setup. So I went right back. I did some switching around in my whole house. I moved a whole lot of shit around. I moved furniture, moved shit, one room, this room, that room, that room. So now I've shifted this table to the kitchen and my big table in the living room <laughs> so i wanted to shake up the energies a little bit okay all right let's get final messages lighting for the ethereals or somebody that's thinking about the ethereal picturesque individuals here that has an expanded awareness with this healer in the middle, either they're a healer or they have learned how to, to heal themselves and have the courage to heal. Someone may want to come in and have the courage to heal something with an ethereal, with the picturesque person. What is the final message? Day nine, project proof. Day nine of project proof. Picturesque, meaning beautiful, like a picture. Pretty, right? Ethereal. Regal, right? All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, me.
the goddess of self knowledge. Oh, 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 look, we got two expanded awareness cards here, and I know this bothered a lot of people. This is why, if you were this ethereal person, you were severely attacked. Okay, and probably still are. The cosmos ascend. I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. You could have came in this carnation for mastery. And see, people get their the chonies in a bunch, you know, and it's futile to do so. Because it's, it's not about the things people think we, you know, it's about your soul could have came for this lifetime for mastery. So that means you've done something. I don't care if you're young in the physical. People got to get past that shit too. Because you got some old, let me think, I'll be good. I'll behave. Light team. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Swati, the goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly. Ding dong into everything that I create. People probably hate this. They hate it. They hate it because they got to get in groups of 12 just to get one shit done, bitch. Okay? That you do. They hate it. They hate it. They got to stalk you. They got to copy you. They got to hire people to do it just to try to push out half of what you create. Okay? It says the essence of who I am flows effortlessly. It's the blueprint. It's the expansion. People don't connect that it's connected to the healing and the expansion that someone's done. And they get their, their chonies in the bunch and get all in the low vibrational ego shit and wonder why karma is knocking on their door. Okay? The, the Freddy Krueger song and shit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Coming for some people. They don't understand that. It's like, well, oh, you, you was messing with some the wrong one. Okay, that you thought was a nobody and didn't matter. And they mattered more than you would ever know on this lifetime. And you're going to have to find that out when you take the last breath and cross over into the next dimension and face them boys. <laughs> yeah. Embodiment of bliss enlightenment powerful some of you all are somebody you know that's the people got to get past things being understated and downplayed because sometimes <clears throat> the golden nuggets or value is in those things it's not always in this you know this fanciful shit all the time sometimes that over overdone fanciful shit sometimes would be the shit filled with poison not all the time. I'm just saying sometimes that's the case. And this is why they have to go to such lengths to do it because the inside is filled with pop poison, fuckery and shit. So they have to invest in all the surgeries, you know, permittable on earth. They have to, you know what I'm saying, do all these spell works and weirdy shits. And you know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the essence the insides has been neglected or offline and disconnected and it's full of poison. Mm -hmm. So they attack the ethereal one. The picturesque one that's just, you know, plain John and Jane that don't have no alterations, bitch. They just got regular shit, bitch. They just go and buy the regular, you know, weave, bitch, regular makeup, motherfucker, regular, you know what I'm saying? Boom, you know, <laughs> standard. <laughs> they got no alterations, bitch. <laughs> Nothing wrong with alterations. So don't, don't take in there, guys. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, hopefully people learn the gist of the message of deal with your soul and your insides. Okay, let that be your goal. Okay, let that be your goal. And if you feel guided to do the other stuff, that's fine. But that should not be the importance because that don't mean shit. It don't mean shit. 
What's that soul like? What's your personality like? What's your integrity like? What is the, the soul? Okay, is that growing? Is that healing? Is that transforming? Not your ability to master still in and master, you know, buying shit and getting shit. The soul. Not even your ability to master a religion. Because that ain't got shit to do with either. The soul. The soul. How many of us got stories from here to kingdom come about people in spiritual arenas or religious arenas that are super fucked up? Because it's a soul issue. It's an energy issue. It's not a building issue, a label issue, a routine issue, a cross issue, a quote issue. It's a soul issue. The ethereal one knows this. They're not perfect. They had the courage to go on the journey. All right. Final messages, team. For the ethereal ones or those that are thinking of the ethereal ones, wanting to come towards them to heal something. For the ethereal, picturesque ones or those that are thinking of them, wanting to come towards them to heal something. Final messages, guidance and advice. Final messages, guidance and advice. Life from the outline team, please, spirit guides, ancestors of the highest rank. Camp. Oh, they lost to come out. Got a couple hot boom, bitch. Oh. <laughs> hey. The goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Somebody had the courage to find home within themselves. Okay. And I feel like the guidance is have that attitude if you don't. Instead of trying to fit into things that are no longer fitting for you, people, places, things, connections, relationships, beliefs, whatever it is, if it ain't fitting for you, I don't care whoever else is cheerleading on it, it's the courage to stop trying to fit in somewhere that you don't even fit in do. It's the courage to find the sanctuary within yourself. Okay? Wow. Freya, goddess of discernment. See, these people, these ethereals start using their discernment and said, I don't care what shit look like and I don't care how these people perform. I don't care if they have five Reiki centers. I don't care if they got five churches. I don't care if they got a bazillion subscribers, viewers, and or followers. I am going to use my discernment. I don't care how they smile. I don't care what the facades are. I'm going to tap in. I spend my time wisely. I'm going to use discernment of what I invest in because no, I spend my time wisely here. Okay. I only say yes when it is a holy hell yes. The ethereals have to learn that other people coming in may have had to learn or may be learning. Use your discernment before you be so quick to say yes to some shit because you're going to cry. And some stuff, it ain't going to be as easy as you think to rid yourself. Learn the art of discernment beyond somebody coming to offer you some shit because this may be a basket of poison. Okay? Oh, yeah. They learned it. And said, bye bye, baby, bye bye. <laughs> the mystics, see, the all. Oh. See, these people are actually mystics and of peace, but people were hell bent on trying to fuck with their peace. And then they got mad when they started seeing the Phoenix Rise and Jean Grey energy. <laughs> because these individuals, these ethereal, picturesque people, are actually mystics of peace. They don't go about just 
you know, willy nilly in it for no reason, just wants to fuck with people, but don't awaken the beast though. But their normal get up is this energy, the mystic of peace. I am peace. I am. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. They knew that. You got to get in a state of peace within subtle in the mind. They picked up that people were trying to fuck with their mind. And then that's when that Jean Grey energy came out. It's like, oh, okay, X-Man, bitch. Apocalypse. Oh, it's time to go down. <laughs> Unleash your power, Jean. Right? And she showed sure did. They had all their whole asses. <laughs> gonna learn this life <laughs> anything else gonna learn this time Ooh. Okay. okay look Isis my girl yeah Egyptian energy coming in goddess Isis like come on look do you know who you fucking with you know who you fucking with? Do you know who you fucking with? Don't get the plain Jane appearance misunderstood. That's my Clark Claritha Kent bitch. Do you know who you fucking with? Do you know who you fucking with? <laughs> Some may have links to ISIS. And see, this is why I don't and people need to just shut up. Like to me, it's just learners and shut up. Go somewhere. <laughs> Fuck that. I've been this way since I was a kid, you guys, I promise. I don't know why, but it's like, fuck that. You know, who else? don't nobody like getting in trouble and shit, bitch. Boom. Okay? Fuck that. Go somewhere and shut up. If you don't want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your ass to be grass. Go somewhere. You gotta go somewhere. <laughs> Save yourself an ass whooping, man. I tell you what. The goddess of magic. Sexual energy is sacred. Ooh, somebody started protecting their sexual energy. Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Interesting. Somebody could have learned that some kind of link connected to sexual energy. Somebody could be addicted to somebody's sexual energy. But it's about healing this, you know, that creative, that sacral chakra manifesting, creating here. Somebody is in creation mode. Somebody is in ISIS energy. Somebody could want to come towards some the ethereal one in ISIS energy to manifest something. They could feel at home with this ethereal. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I faced my ego beliefs to feel free. Yeah, somebody faced, yeah. Somebody faced their ego. And I talk about this all the time. The saint of authentic. Ooh, okay, I'm done. Boom. Tarot card. Mic drop, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, tarot card. Mic drop. Okay. Because look, it says her Petua, the saint of authenticity. Oh, motherfucker. The ethereal one, the picturesque one is authentic in spite of what motherfuckers try to perpetrate and portray. Okay. Wow. The saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self, bitch. Boom. Okay, y'all. Come on, bitch. Oh, motherfucker. Mm, motherfucker. Okay. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Boom, bitch. I ain't fake. You ain't gotta like me. This is my cousin and shit from back in the day. So I'm just playing. I'm just saying because of like what she looked like. I'm like, it's my cousin, bitch. But, um... She told that see is some significance with this. I swear I'm gonna figure this shit out. Because I do that a lot. But look. Some 
See, some people that messed up, they need to go, like I said, somewhere and shut up. If you don't want your shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, somebody is authentic, okay? And I really feel like the guidance, uh, you know, spirit guides are reminding the ethereal ones, like, you are you. And this is why you're manifesting because you're not perfect, but you're manifesting out of your authenticity. You're aligning to your own divinity and expanded consciousness here. You've had the courage to go and heal. You are picturesque. So you are in Isis. You are in your Isis energy. And you manifest not what people think. You manifest because you're in authenticity. You're not bending laws of the universe unlike these individuals. It's your authenticity to your consciousness expanding and healing here. And for individuals that's wanting to come towards the ethereal picturesque ones, the guidance is come this way if you know what's good for you. Come this way, okay? Take off mask, take off fuckery, and come in as your authentic self. If you want any luck with these ethereals, regals, and picturesque type, because for them, it ain't about perfect. For them, it's not about that, never has been. It's not about perfect. It's not about how much money you got. It's not about how many surgeries you had. It's not about how fine or not fine you are. It's not about none of that for them. It's about that heart, that soul. You better come in on a, on a get right. You better come in on a get right. Because otherwise, they're not going to want nothing to do with you. These individuals are not going to want nothing to do with folks that can't match authenticity. If they're being their authentic selves, flaws and all, they're expecting people to come in to be their authentic selves. So if there's anything to apologize for, you better do it, bitch, because otherwise you're going to be dismissed. If there's anything that needs to be cleared in a situation, it better be done or otherwise you're going to be dismissed. Okay. Simple as that. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, they want somebody perfect. They think no, is they know they deserve honor and authenticity. Simple as that. They also know the key. That healing don't take place as long as there is a continual perpetuated state of deception. So hiding something and putting it in the rug is only further creating disruption. So they won't tolerate it. They will not. They will dismiss you. They will be like, nope, these people aren't ready to truly heal and deal. So let them go on their perspective, lives, and journeys then. Because they're still coming on fuckery. Don't come in here trying to play with my head. Don't come in here trying to act like the shit didn't happen. Don't come in here trying to project what you did on me. Don't come in here trying to downplay and understate the reality and the facts. Don't do it. Don't come in here trying to make excuses, ill advice. Don't do it. You better come in on, on a get right. Owning the shit. I fucked up. I was tripping, lying, hoeing, stealing, doing magic, dumb, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> oh, divine feminine again. Almost every day, no matter how much I cleanse these cards, here she is, divine feminine. I am the divine feminine. Somebody is like, look, you got to know, recognize, recognize, recognize. I hold the universe within me. I am the force. I am. I am the force of an everlasting and expanding love from within. Expand it. So they're not going to tolerate energy that's not matching that. If they can't come in and match, they're going to say, go on about your perspective journey. Perhaps you'd figure it out in this life. Maybe you won't. That's your life, your business. But coming over here with the fuckery is going to cost you more than you will ever know until it's too late. These some bad motherfuckers, boy. I tell you what. And probably look regular and shit. You probably, they probably look like this and shit. Boom, bitch, regular. It's like, yeah, but it's got some potent power to whoop your ass across the sky, motherfucker. And wake up and don't even know what the fuck happened in your world, bitch. It's like, <laughs> oh, boy. 
That's why folks should stop. Take on old Bloomy's attitude that she had as a little girl. Like, uh-uh. Bloomy didn't like getting in trouble. So she didn't, she didn't, you know, try not to provoke shit. Okay, the other ones with them rockets, they get the hell whooped out of them. You know what I'm saying? In some cases, hell whooped into them. That's why they become monsters. All right, let's rock. Let's get your final messages here. Day nine. Project proof. Picturesque. Day nine. Project proof, picturesque. Day nine. Project proof, picturesque. What are the chakras that will assist either the ethereal picturesque individuals or those that want to come towards them? What chakras would uh, benefit some attention here to assist? What chakras here what we have? Okay, the heart. Someone needs to balance the heart straight away. As I looked up, I see 22 in the room. That's a balancing energy. So balance, balance, okay? To let go of grudges, there needs to be some working on the heart chakra, listening to maybe some heart chakra frequency, soulflagio, isochronic tones, binaural beats. Um, also the seed mantras, which is yum, okay? And then if you want to tone the heart space, you can go... Um, and you can change octaves like a a a a a a a a a a a. It's like toning, but the C mantra is yum. You can picture green, vibrant green or pink in the center of your heart space. Okay, so the heart chakra is at you know maybe the the um, ethereal ones are working on their heart. Okay, for what was done or maybe and those who are coming in may also need to work on their heart because it could have been their closed heart that caused them to be a certain way to these ethereal ones. If you have a closed heart chakra, you're going to be a fucked up motherfucker. I'm going to tell you right now. This is at the base of a lot of shit that we see an offline, hardened, closed, disconnected heart chakra. It causes people to be overly critical. It causes people to be overly harsh. It causes people to be very toxic and negative towards themselves and others. Okay. The heart chakra. Again, I have two heart chakra cards coming out. So highly recommended concentrating on the heart chakra. It says this chakra's key concepts are love, trust, compassion. These people probably like compassion. Compassion, empathy. Okay. The element is air. Interesting, huh? The element is air. Anything else, team? Okay. Some of you may be being guided to work with chakra stones, okay? So for the heart chakra, we do have the chakra stones coming out. So if you have like emerald, green abertrine, turquoise, rose quartz, um, anything that you're really guided to, but if you're open to it, I highly recommend either if you can get a crystal and like place it on your heart when you're toning or reciting the mantras or listening to isochronic tones that may amplify, you know, healing of uh, that heart chakra. Of course, Reiki, if you're open to all these sorts of things, okay. Uh, some of you are going to say ho o -pin -o -pin -o, which is that Hawaiian forgiveness frequency. Um, I yeah, recommend you go onto YouTube. There's a lot of them there. I think I have one that's really old, so you would have to like dig deep in my videos. Um, but this too can also help um, dealing with the reason why there's pain there or whatever happened. Okay, root chakra. The earth supports me and meets my needs. So the heart and the root. Throat, of course. Of course, let's see. Yay, 
Yeah, crown chakra affirmation and color breathing. Interesting. I see divine light in everyone. I see divine light. Um, maybe you can picture breathing in and out. Like if you can picture like energy going in and out of your mouth, but breathing in golden white light, breathing in green energy, which is very healing and grounding. Okay, maybe even vibrant red, but they call it color breathing. Okay, if you're open to it. Okay, if you're not, if you're not drawn to that, don't force it. Don't force it. It needs to be something that you're comfortable with and that you're resonating with, okay? Any other um, chakras? Okay. The throat. Yep, I was waiting for it. The throat. It says it controls um, the passage of energy between the lower parts of the body and the head. This chakra's function is driven by the principle of expression and communication. It's related to the element of sound. Through our throat, sound is propagated into the air. And it's a vibration. It's vibration can be felt by the whole body. Powerful. Somebody needs to work on that throat chakra so they can communicate something. Okay, healing the heart, dealing with the heart, okay, bringing in divine light from above through the crown, clearing out the thoughts here, um, and just bringing balance to the heart. Interesting. All right, well, that's going to serve whoever these picturesque people are or whoever is thinking of and wants to come towards a picturesque individual in this reading. Day nine, project proof. Someone is picturesque. Someone is almost perfect in somebody's sight or ancestors saying that somebody's in a very divine, ethereal, uh, regal energy. And uh, it was in part what created all of the attacks um, and disruptions on this uh, picturesque individual. But there's been such courage, healing and transformation and you all are being cheerleaded. Somebody may be connected directly to Egyptian roots in another life. Isis connection vast and so there's a lot of high ranks frequencies floating about okay in somebody's life and maybe people didn't know that because again they may look like this but guess what this person is this person <laughs> I call it the Claritha Kent, you know, that Clark Kent, you know, Superman, Clark Kent, bitch, boom. He put on his glasses and he, he act like he's slow and, you know what I'm saying? It's like he, his whole little mannerism and get up is different for the public so folks won't be on his helmet. So people won't, you know, they just pass him by and shit, boom. But then when he take on his real persona and shit, bitch, boom, Superman, motherfucker, glass off, glasses off, bitch. Okay, bones. S on my chest. <laughs> Taking on my fine energy now. <laughs> it's the same thing. I promise you guys. That I'm laughing because I feel like that is what has happened with somebody. Like that's somebody's story. Folks got it. Got shit fucked up. They got some shit fucked up. And it's because of that that Claritha Kent, Clark Kent, Claritha Kent energy is like. Authentic, right? Bare, but authentic. Claim, but authentic. But this is their power. This is who they are. I'm a bad motherfucker. When I want to look fine, I'll look fine. When I feel like it serves me, I choose. I choose. I choose. I choose. I've always been ISIS. <laughs> this is so we can see how folks are going to treat you. Because see, folks will probably kiss your ass. When you walk around looking like this all the time. Okay. Ooh. Right? They'll be fake. They'll kiss your ass. They'll sell their left nut. Okay? For you. 
But you'll see people's true colors when you're like that. When they think you're plain, somebody, nobody. You'll see how they really feel about you. Okay? But they don't know that, look, this is you in your bare form, right? But this is you. And then they want to come around you when you put on your, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, bitch, I didn't know she was, oh, yeah, you didn't, huh? That's why they tell people, careful how you treat folks, because you never know who you're screwing over and fucking over. And I'll leave you guys on the note of that movie with Vince Vaughn. And I can't remember the dude's name that looks like his nose is broken, um, but it's called Internship. Okay, and they went on an internship at Google, right? And there was at the end of the, the movie or close to the end, one of the shared owners of Google was always in these little meetings and lectures, but they were never introduced. They never came up and spoke. In fact, they were very understated. They had earphones on their head. They were very quiet. They looked like an emo recluse or of some sort, right? And, but the whole time they were listening and watching everybody, the earphones, it was actually nothing playing. They were listening to everything people were saying. They were watching how they treated one another, but then they were watching how they approached him. And in the end of the movie, they, this shit was put on blast. And so I feel like that's the message, like careful. They thought he was a nobody, so people were laughing at him, pointing at him. He was the fucking owner, man. The fucking, the fucking shared owner of the shit, bitch. Okay? And it's like, uh-huh. See, because that's what people get. That's what they get. Because they think it has to look like this, but often it comes like that just to test the character of individuals around them. All right, you guys. I send you love and light.